Did your mother make your own clothes? Um, my mother wasn't much of a sewer, and uh, she had so much to do. My grandmother did most of it. Yes, yeah, she used to make she used to make uh, uh, coats and everything. And I know she made me a nice coat one winter. It's very cold winters up there, you know. You get a lot of snow when it's very cold. And I had to go to school, and she made me out of one of my father's. It could have been his army coat. I don't know. Quite heavy. Anyway, she cut it. She takes them, took them all apart, and um, and cuts them down to fit. You know, and she was very good at that. And and then she put you know fit, put the buttons on and everything. And uh, this one time she had some fur, and she said, "Would you like some fur? Or would you like a fur collar on your?" And I said, "Oh yeah." So she, it was rabbit fur, and I thought that was terrific, you know, rabbit fur on <laughs> my coat. Get to school, all show off, you know. And then she also made uh, pants and things for my brother and shirts. She did. She mostly it was you know, we get sometimes we get some. They used to come around with uh, gifts, you know, like they do here for like goodwill or something like that, and uh, and give it out to the people on the farms especially during the Depression. And she used to take whatever there was, and if it didn't fit, she'd make it fit somehow, you know, and kept us pretty well in clothes. The only thing we had to go and buy, which is what we needed money for, was shoes and boots. We had to have boots for the winter, and uh, so once a year, I get a new dress, and Ken would get a, a new pair of pants or something, you know, or a jacket, something like that. But she kept us pretty well in clothes, and I used to, when we when we grew out of them, we had uh, we had neighbors that we'd pass them on to, you know. So that was in good use. And um, I can remember one night, one winter, Ken and I, my brother, my mom had packed up the sleigh. We had a little sleigh you could pull, you know, and she had a, a big box on it, and she packed it up with all kinds of stuff that we were not able to use anymore clothes and things and she and she wanted us to take it over to a neighbor that's had just had a new baby she had some baby clothes too and some other took some other things as well and take them over to her it was about three miles away which is and on a back road you know and uh, so Ken and I we took a hold of it and we just pulled that thing all the way over there <laughs> we get over there of course we were treated royally we had given cookies and things and everything else. but over there and then getting back we just made it before dark 